guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where I record things and don't post them for a couple years or in this case like three. Welcome to 2017. <laughs> so I decided to take this time since I'm, you know, not working to edit a bunch of stuff that I've been putting on the back burner. So here we go. Um, this one was actually using the Modern Renaissance palette. So if you guys want to purchase it or anything or you want to know what products I used, um, I'll have everything linked down below. Surprisingly, I actually remember what I use. That's the thing though, I don't change like some core products that I have, I don't really change them that often. Like foundation, if I find one I really really like, I tend to stick with it until I run out. So I don't know, that helps me and I have a weird memory for stuff like that. But anywho, I went ahead and just applied a base um, shade first. Obviously if you don't have the specific palette, grab whatever you have, it's cool. Next, I'm going to take a more like rusty reddish kind of shade. Um, I can't remember the exact color in the Modern Renaissance palette. I have it next to me, but I'm too lazy to look. But <laughs> it's like a rusty red shade and put that in the crease. I also um, used a fluffier blending brush just to kind of give me more of a super blended look. If you have a smaller eye though, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Um, I'd probably just use a smaller brush just to put the eyeshadow where you want it and then blend it out as you go. Kind of like use a, a bigger fluffy brush just to blend out the product that's already there and use a smaller one to place the product where you want it. And then I took some gold eyeshadow and applied it on my lid. If you have small eyes and you want to make them look bigger, one really easy tip to do that is to put a lighter color right in the middle of the eye. That's going to bring light to that area and it's going to make that space look a lot bigger. Same thing if you have, well kind of not really, opposite thing if you have um, larger eyes and you want to make them look smaller. That's why when you line your inner rim, it tends to make the eyes look a little bit smaller, more like intense, I guess. So if you have bigger eyes, you want to make them look smaller. That's what you do. Use a darker shade to kind of like hide things that you don't necessarily want to stand out as much. I swear that makes sense. To me it does anyway. I had a Red Bull a couple hours ago and I'm really hyper. And then I went and took a darker brown shade on my lower lash line and just kind of blended it out. It kind of acted like lower lash eyeliner. It gives you a softer look so that way if you don't want something super harsh you can still get that effect without you know the harshness and then I highlighted on my inner corner some more with an even lighter shade of like champagne gold Burr. I don't know what that noise was it's been a long day it really has been for some reason I don't get it and then I highlighted on my uh, just under my eyebrows I swear I know what I'm talking about. I have that under my eyebrows. This will give you a little bit more of a, um, like a lifted look. So like I said, anything that you want to stand out a little bit more, you want to apply something lighter in that area. Now I'm just applying some eyeliner and I will have a video linked in the cards of um, eyeliner, how to do eyeliner. <laughs> I actually have that video recorded, I just have to edit it. And since I have nothing but time, guess what I'll be doing? <laughs> I swear, this video is not going to be very informative, but it makes me feel better, so there you go. So how's everybody doing? Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys been doing for the last, like, week or so. And then, originally, I was just going to use this, like, really metallic-y it's not exactly silver because it has a little bit of pink in it it's almost like a metallic like light pink kind of liquid lipstick um but yeah that with this look that i have going on that was no just no <laughs> so what i wound up doing was going in with some red Originally, I was just going to use it just to give me a little bit more color, but then the color was kind of patchy because I was putting it on top of another liquid lipstick that hadn't completely dried yet. And yep, what I wound up doing is doing a nice, not thick layer, but a really concentrated layer. And since I had that kind of metallic-y shimmer underneath it, it gave me kind of a highlight and I kind of liked it. So I went with it. 
but that is the finished look so i hope you guys enjoyed it another super easy look to do and yeah don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next and i promise i will lay off the red bull <laughs> see you guys next time bye